This is not a magic trick, but what I have is a totally ordinary, randomly shuffled deck of playing cards. And what I can guarantee is that in the entire history of poker and gin rummy and every card game ever played, no one has ever shuffled a deck of cards in the exact same order as this one, and no one ever will. That is just the tip of the iceberg of how monumentally massive the number 52 factorial is. So when dealing a deck of cards, there's 52 possible cards that can be on top. And then once that's turned over, there's 51 possibilities for the next card. Then 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 5, 4, 3, 2. And then of course, you know the last card by process of elimination. And that number, 8.07 times 10 to the 67th power is 52 factorial. And that is a number so big, the human mind cannot comprehend it. But I'm a cat, so I'm going to eat 52 factorial cat treats. All right, that is literally impossible. There is not that many cat treats in the entire world. Nothing is impossible when it comes to snacks. So what are Indy and me supposed to be doing while you eat all these 52 factorial snacks? Why don't you draw a picture? So to give you an idea of how unbelievably big this number is, let me explain to you how Indy and me are gonna pass the time while Serenity eats her 52 factorial treats. We'll start off by spending one hour making a drawing of one person. This is gonna take 3,600 seconds. So during that time, Serenity will have eaten about seven factorial cat treats. So let's keep going. I'm gonna keep spending one hour per drawing and I'm gonna keep making drawings until I've drawn an individual portrait for all 8.2 billion humans. Now, once I've drawn an individual hour long portrait for all 8.2 billion humans, a feat that's gonna take me 260 years to accomplish, Serenity will have only eaten 16 factorial treats. So more drawings. Now I'm gonna draw a portrait of every individual cat, every dog, every bird, not just every species of bird, every individual bird from ostriches to penguins to cardinals on the whole planet, every fish, but all the bugs too, every ant, every beetle, every snake, every worm. There's around two times 10 to the 19th animals on this planet. That's around 20 million trillion animals. So once I've drawn two times 10 to the 19th hour long portraits, Serenity will have eaten 7.2 times 10 to the 22nd cat treats. This will have taken me 2.28 times 10 to the 15 years, which is two quadrillion years. And after this two quadrillion years of me drawing pictures of every individual animal on the planet, she will only have eaten 23 factorial treats. Now, if we're trying to get up to 52 factorial and we're at 23 factorial, it seems like we're about halfway, but we're not. In order to go from 23 factorial to 24 factorial, you have to multiply by 24. So we're only 1 24th of the way to 24 factorial. So we're not even 1% of the way to 25 factorial. So we've got a long way still to go. So, so Serenity, of all of these trillions and quadrillions of drawings we made, which one was your favorite? I like the one with the wolf howling at the moon, except the moon was kind of small. After all that, you want a bigger moon. I'll get you a bigger moon. So now let's suppose Indiana spends 518,400 seconds doing a six day round trip to and from the moon. That's one small step for a cat, one giant leap for felines. 
and he brings me back this. One rock, one gram of the moon. Now the moon is 7.35 times 10 to the 25th power grams. It is 10 trillion trillion grams. But before Indy goes back to the moon to get me another gram of moon rock, we're gonna make all the drawings again. I'm gonna spend another two quadrillion years making individual drawings of every animal that's on Earth that was at this point, because after quadrillions of years, uh, we'll all be long dead. But another two quadrillion years, and then after two quadrillion years, Indy will fly to the moon and back and bring me another gram of moon rock. This is not really a moon rock. And we're gonna repeat that process. Two quadrillion years of drawings, one gram of the moon. And we're gonna keep doing this until Indy has flown to and from the moon so many times that he has moved the entire moon from the moon to Texas. And that would make Serenity very happy because she thought the moon was too small and everything's bigger in Texas. And after all these quadrillions of years making drawings, the 70 trillion trillion grams of back and forth to the moon, after all of this, we will have been 2.74 times 10 to the 54th power seconds, which is 8.7 times 10 to the 46th power years, which is like a quadrillion, quadrillion, quadrillion years, we will have gotten up to 44 factorial cat treats. And Serenity's kind of a hefty girl, but she's looking pretty good for having eaten 44 factorial cat treats, 10 to the 54th power, right? A trillion, 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 billion cat treats but we're not even 1% done. On the little counter at the bottom of the screen, 44 factorial looks pretty close to 52 factorial. But on the screen right beneath it, when we're tracking the actual percentage, the percentage complete is so low, we haven't even filled in one single pixel on the screen for the counter across the bar. It's not even 1%, it's not even a billionth of 1%. And so after all of that traveling to and from the moon, I think Indy and I need to just take a break and maybe we're just gonna relax and read a book. And we're gonna read our books one word at a time. So we'll start off with it. And after every word of our book, I'm gonna go back to making my drawings, right? My two quadrillion years of drawings, every animal on earth. And then Indy is gonna take the moon from Texas, one gram at a time, in between all of my two quadrillion years of drawings, he'll take one gram of rock back up to the moon. If the rest of the moon is still down there on Earth, how do I get the first two rocks to stick together up here in space? In a trillion trillion years, you're just gonna move the moon back down to Texas anyway, so just leave it. So, after Indy has moved the entire moon back up into space, we get to read another word, was. It was. All right, quadrillions of years making drawings, trillions of trillions of years moving the moon back to Earth. The, it was the. What a waste of a word, the. And so we continue. Quadrillions of years making drawings, trillions of trillions of years moving the moon from the moon to Texas and back every single time just to read one more word. And by the time we've read all 75,000 average words in all 131 million books that have been published since the invention of the Gutenberg printing press in 1440, after reading all 9.8 times 10 to the 12th words, right, that's nine trillion words written in every book ever published, we finally get to the very last word, so long, and thanks for all the, come on Indy, last rock, last word, we gotta find out what those dolphins were thanking us for, last rock, 
fish. I love those dolphins. They're some crazy guys. And delicious, too, when they come mixed in with the tuna. Serenity, that is horrible. So after all of this, an hour-long drawing of every creature on Earth to move one gram of the moon from the moon to Earth, and every time we move the moon, we get to read one word of the book. By the time we've read every single book ever written, this will have been 2.7 times 10 to the 67th seconds. And this will finally be one third of the way to 52 factorial. All of this work, all of the drawings, the moon, the back and forth, reading every single book ever written, that was just breakfast. Serenity's only eaten breakfast. My belly is telling me that it's lunchtime. So we do all of that, all of the drawings, just to move a gram of the moon, and we move the moon just to read a word. By the time we've read every single word, three times, that is 52 factorial. And that is why I can say that no one else will ever shuffle a deck of playing cards, not just humans, even AIs. Even if we let computers run billions or trillions of shuffles per second, even a computer will never randomly generate a deck of cards in this same order. That's how monumentally gigantic is 52 factorial. If you like science, engineering, and math, and you like cats, and you like watching educational videos that are a little bit silly sometimes, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can watch each new video as they come out.